Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a frame filter with a tap to change function in the Spark AR Studio. So let's start! Hey again, so let's create a frame filter with a tap to change function here in the Spark AR Studio. So you are able to switch through multiple frames with a tap in one filter. But before we start creating the filter here in the Spark AR Studio, we have to make sure that we have created all our frames we want to use. But there are two things we have to keep in mind when creating those frames for this filter. The first thing is that the frames have to be in a 9 to 16 format. So for example, 720 to 1280 or 576 to 1024 because this will be the size Spark AR will automatically shrink down your frames to. So yeah, no need to make them bigger. And the second thing is that you have to name your frames in the correct order. So for example here, the first frame will be um, 01.png, the second will be 02.png and so on. I have six frames here, so 01 will be the first and 06 will be the second one. And as you can see here, the dimension of this frame is 576 to 1024. For. So, now when we have created all our frames, we can start creating the filter here in the Spark AR Studio. The first step we have to do is to create an animation sequence. So we go to our assets bundle, click on the plus and then select animation sequence. Now Spark AR will create this animation sequence for us. I will rename it to frames. So now select your animation sequence, go to the right hand side and then here at textures um, click on choose file. Now go to your go to your files, to your frames you want to include in the filter and then select all of them and then just click on open. Now Spark AR will import your frames and they will be here under textures. Here this 0, 1 to 6 are the frames bundled in one animation sequence. Now just click on this animation sequence on this texture of it and then go to the, your right hand side. The first thing is to make sure that the compression is set to none so the frames have the best quality possible. So the next thing is to create a material for our textures. So for this go to your assets bundle, click on the plus and select material and I will also rename this material to frames. So now select your materials, go again to the right hand side to the properties and set the shader type to flat and here for the texture select the frames animation sequence. So now we are almost done. The next thing is to create a rectangle here in our scene where we can attach our material to. So for this go to your scene bundle click on the plus and here search for rectangle. So now Spark AR will automatically create this canvas object with a rectangle in it. And again I will rename this rectangle to frames. So now this little thing has appeared in our viewport um, but we want this to yeah, go over the whole screen. So for this go to your scene, select the frames rectangle and then go to the right hand side. And here for the width and um, choose fill width and for the height also choose fill height. So now go down to the materials and click on the plus and here select of course the frames material. Now the, yeah, the, all the frames are shuffling through really fast here in the viewport so let's change this. To change this go to your assets bundle and click here on the animation sequence on the frames animation sequence. And then go to the right hand side and here at advanced current frame there is a little arrow. Just click on it and the shuffling stops. So now we have this yellow current frames patch in our patch editor. And now we want to program the logic that we can tap on the screen and the frame changes. So for this we go to add patch and for the first patch we need of course a screen tap patch. So just insert it. And yeah, go again to add patch and now search for a counter patch and also insert this to your patch editor. Now we can wire up our patches so the 
gaseous state output of the screen depth goes into the increase input of the counter and the output count of the counter goes of course into the current frame input of our yellow frames patch. So almost done. Now you can check the filter when you simulate touch here at the viewport you can switch through all the frames but at the moment there is one frame missing because the counter is set to a maximum count of five but I have here as we can see in the assets panel six frames so I have to set the maximum count of the counter to six and now I can see all my frames when I tap here on the screen. The last thing I want to add to this filter is the instruction at the beginning of the of the filter which says tap to change. For this we go to the left hand side to our scene bundle and click on the device. Then go to the right hand side and here at the custom instructions on opening you select tap to change and then Spark AR will automatically create this patch for you and then yeah after five seconds this yeah, this instruction will go away. So when I restart the filter, you can see it here, tap to change. But when you test it on your device, it will be in the middle of the screen. So yeah, this was all the magic behind a frames filter with a tap to change option. I have done it with an animation sequence, but of course there are yeah, several other ways to do this. So yeah, I hope I could help you with this video. If yes, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.